Hello, this is Joel Kuchmarek, your golf course superintendent. If you've been on the golf course lately, you've noticed that some trees have been marked for removal. So I just made this video to kind of explain the tree management plan for this upcoming season. So I'll just go through this in order. This is an aerial view of hole number two and the trees that are marked right now are this little uh, snag right here, which is actually a tree that snapped in half a couple of years ago in a storm. And then there's two trees marked in this area here. And then this tree is scheduled for removal, but it's not marked because it's behind the fence and you wouldn't be able to see uh, the red ribbon around it in that location. Here's a different view of number two green showing these marked trees. Again, here's that broken tree there. There's two trees right in line here. And then there's this other tree behind the fence. So all of these trees, um, of course, not the broken tree, but what we're trying to do is capture some more morning sunlight. We've done a lot of work around number two green over the last decade, removing a couple trees every couple years trying to um, you know achieve our sunlight goals there and this will be the last and final phase of um, tree removal in order to to get the sunlight goals that we need lastly when these trees are removed we will be planting some flowering uh, plum trees here and also beyond that some taller maple trees just to improve the vegetative density here uh, to screen off the road that's in the background. Next, let's look at hole number three. This tree in front of three green is a very significant tree. And in fact, the more significant and the larger the tree is, the more likely it's going to need to be removed eventually especially when it's this close to our key playing areas like putting greens. This aerial view of number three green does a nice job of showing the amount of shade that this tree produces. And this picture here was taken in the summer. You can see how short you know, and small the shade is from all the surrounding trees, but this particular tree that we're discussing here still produces a significant um, shadow and unfortunately the shadow is right in front of the green so although you know the putting green has uh, satisfactory turf this is really more about getting the turf quality that we're trying to achieve right in front of the green so that when you hit up you know, properly struck ball that it bounces the way it should and releases the way that you would expect. And with this shade pattern that you can see right here in front of the green, it makes it nearly impossible to achieve uh, high quality turf that will allow the ball to release. Also, the amount of debris, you know, uh, fir cones and branches that are falling out of this tree right in front of the green all the time. It's it's very problematic. Moving on to hole number five, we're discussing the two trees that are right beyond the fairway bunkers that are adjacent to number nine T. Here's a different point of view looking at these trees from number 9T. And you can see these trees are not very attractive. They're borderline silly looking with this flat side. Uh, the trees are in a position where it impedes the golfer's ability to play different tee shots. And incidentally, this, this flat side here uh, to my knowledge, this tree has never been pruned. Uh, this is all just created from uh, whizzing golf balls going through here 
and knocking off the branches as they grow out. Uh, <clears throat> the committee has discussed uh, replanting this area, but at this time, we just want to remove the trees and see how the hole plays for a year and then reevaluate uh, a tree planting. Moving on to hole number eight, no tree removal here, but we do want to remove these overreaching branches that are right here in this area to um, make the uh, landing area a little more forgiving. And this will be achieved by keying in on this one particular oak tree right here. And this is a different viewpoint of that oak tree. And we're just going to remove this one stem right here. And this one stem has all those overreaching branches attached to it. On hole number 10, you can see this large shade pattern uh, right here that covers the approach and half of the green. Most of the year, uh, this, this area is under intense shade. And what we want to do here, again, no, no tree removal here. What we want to do here is just heavily prune this oak grove. This picture is um, taken from the right greenside bunker on number 10, looking at that oak grove. And you can see how dense this is. We just want to go through here and remove a couple of these stems and look for any dead wood, but try to improve the amount of sunlight that um, comes through this oak grove onto the green and to the approach just to make this area a lot more playable, a lot more springy, and just, uh, you know, improve the overall health and playability of the area. So please, if you have any comments or concerns about the tree management plan that we're proposing, send us an email and send that email to trees at golftcgc.com. Thank you.